Welcome back to Tasha's City Engine Show. Now I know it's been a few weeks since I posted an episode. That's mainly due to the fact that things have been crazy busy here in a good way with conferences and releases and things like that. So it's definitely kept the whole team on our toes. Um, but I have a bunch of new stuff to show you. So without further ado, here we go. My user story of the week is the Villanova University VR project. Villanova University's landscape has changed a lot over the years and a potential new change would be to have a bubble over a soccer field uh, so that the team can practice all year round. The university had no way of sharing with anxious neighbours how a bubble like this uh, would impact the landscape and so the students took this on and made it their project. Using current and historic aerial imagery, available CAD data, SketchUp, and ArcGIS Pro and City Engine, they created a model of what this section of campus looked like in 1937 and then today. And they also made a model of what the campus would look like with the bubble. Remember, if you have your own user story that you'd like featured in a future episode, then just send me an email. My news of the week. We were at the Animago conference at the start of November and presented an award for best visual effects to Rodeo FX for their work on Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. And um, yeah, City Engine also had a small part in that. After every release comes the release party and we've had some good fun recently celebrating the City Engine and the web release. Our new office is finally done and we've moved in and it looks awesome. My rule of the week is the asset previewer. We've written a handy little asset Reviewer rule, which you can use on any of your assets to change things like spacing, or you can even filter by font type. You can get this rule from GeoNet, and we hope you have as much fun playing around with it as we did making it. I actually think this is one of our most asked questions, and it's how to access elevation and terrain data from within GetMap data. Now, in order for this to work, you need to sign up for an ArcGIS organizational account. And once you've done that, you simply check the terrain button and away you go. If you'd like me to answer your questions in a future episode, then just use the hashtag CityEngineers or post your questions on GeoNet. So thank you for joining me today again on Tasha's City Engine Show. You can find the links to everything that I talked about today in the description box below. And yeah, don't forget, if you want to send me in a t-shirt to wear uh, in a future episode, then you can do so by mailing it to this address. Um, so on that note, Thank you, Daniel, um, for, I, I think, thank you, Daniel, for this Nicolas Cage t-shirt, um, which I am obviously very comfortable wearing. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye. The City Engine Show, I know it's been a few moments uh, since I've been Everyone here in the room. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. The landscape. Then just. We've written a handy little asset preview rule, which.